Hey, what's going on guys? Back again, it's your boy CGOD, and today we're gonna be putting a stereo up in this Coupe de Ville that I got right here in front of me. And uh, we also cleaned up the uh, climate control, but I've already done that. So pretty much, I took apart the dash obviously to get to the radio, and I uh, took out the climate control, opened it up, and I cleaned the contacts with a little bit of contact cleaner. And after I did that, put it all back together, and we got a functioning climate control. Mine was stuck at 60 degrees, so I'd have no heat, but now it goes all the way up to 90, and we have heat, everything works, it's dope. Highly recommend if you ever have issues with that. It is a 40 year old car. So without further ado, let's get into it. Just in case y'all forgot, this is the lack. Sheesh. Yeah, so in here boys, as you can see, we're going to be inputting this Alpine. Let's see if I can get a good uh, focus on it. There we go. Alpine UTE 73BT. And uh, I was really hoping it was like one of those smaller ones. Because this one's not a CD player. But it's a full, full size John. So with that being said, as you can see, we got our dash taken apart. The uh, air vents pretty much pop out they have little pins on the side that you can pull in with a flathead screwdriver and then you can pull that vent out um, we have our wiring harness that came with the stereo for free shout out to crutchfield.com and uh, yeah I'm going to leave the original stereo or radio and I want to put this inside of the dash and uh, so as you can see here, we have our dash insert or whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to cut a hole out to allow our single DIN to like slide in just a bit to clear the door. And then after that, we should be good. So let me go ahead and go inside and I'll show you guys what we're doing as for wiring. Yee. All right, boys, so this is the setup we're going to be using. This is the harness adapter that was free along with the stereo purchase and free shipping. But uh, either way, so pretty much what we're doing here is to keep the size slim. We're going to be doing a mechanical crimp. So pretty much like the wires, you like split, split apart the uh, like individual leads inside of it or the strands of wire or whatever. And then you intertwine them and then you twist the up, up opposing ends and it's like a mechanical crimp so from there then you fold it sides down and then I covered with electrical tape and then finished with the heat shrink so we're going to be extending them I did about two foot of an extension of wire so that we can reach from the original location down to the glove box this is for the 12 volt positive, which goes to a separate plug and then the rest of them all go to this one. And all the wire colors and everything match up. So it's real easy to do. And after this, we get all these extended. Then I'm gonna run the wire through whenever I pull the antenna cable out. Cause it's like followed through into the glove box. So we'll just pull that through and pull all these wires through as well. That way it's ran through the proper location and then we'll get it popping from there boys. We'll cut out the back of the glove box compartment that way our stereo sits in nice and then find a way to fasten the stereo down and we'll call it a day with some tunes bumping in the coop boys. Alright guys so moving inside the car as you can see here we got most of the wires done. I'm on the last one. Just wanted to give you guys a visual representation of what I was talking about on the mechanical crimp. So as you can see, we got both strands here. And then I like separated the strands so they're like out like that. And then intertwined them. And then twisted the ends. I can't really get a much closer shot than that for you guys. But from here, they just get bent down. And then I put a little bit of electrical tape around it. And then I have the heat shrink here ready to go. And that's how we do it. So let me go ahead and finish this harness here up. We'll get it taped up nice and tidy. As you can see, like it doesn't add a lot of thickness like using butt connectors would. So that's why we went this route. 
and I'm gonna try the radio in here make sure it works and everything and from there then I'll begin cutting out the glove box compartment to be able to finally install it boys so wish me luck all right my boys so we got it all finished up we're back it is the next day got a little bit late yesterday um took apart the whole dash area kind of tried to repair my little mirror piece here it had a broken tab so i like super glued it put it back looks a lot better uh put the stock stereo back in cleaned up all the contacts with contact cleaner on our climate control so now we got heat it all functions as it should now for our stereo itself as you can see it's sitting in there i did drill two holes here and here so i can run a zip tie through to hold it in place the cut in the back i didn't do it the best you know like if you take your time and do it a little bit better but yeah so we got it inset i was really hoping since it was like one of those bluetooth only stereos that it would be smaller because i've had those in the past but this was a full size head unit so i did have to make a good size hole in the back to be able to push it in so it's inset i mean as you can see we got obvious obviously good clearance you know so it hides away there everything works as it should you turn the car on it automatically connects to my phone and starts playing music through the bluetooth so i should never have to open that have the volume set to like the max that i like so i just control it from my phone so it'll just be forever hidden like that and we still got our original look in here so everything is all real nice and original looking you know what i mean can't argue with any of that now let me show you guys how this works so here we have it we turn on our lack and you'll see we get power here and then we look at our phone here and the way this is supposed to work is seamlessly it'll just start playing music that way you don't even have to open up the uh the glove box so there you have it boys as you can see we're bumping the jammies damn i don't want to focus no more but yeah we're bumping the jammies we close it up and i actually control it off of my phone so like i have the volume you know so that's how i control it and it works really well like i said you never even have to open the uh glove box you get in you turn on your car you know get ready to cruise you just set the jams on your phone as well as the volume i pretty much turned it up to the max volume that it sounded good on the head unit so that way you never have to touch the head unit just adjust volume from here to whatever you'd like as well as choosing your song and you still got this beautiful original look going on to be able to keep your nostalgic caddy going we've got our red fuzzy dice and stuff boys but uh yeah guys i just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know the progress that was made here with this lack we got our stereo in we can cruise with some some rolas you know it's pretty dope make sure to like comment subscribe i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one because uh we got more stuff coming let me tell you but uh yeah boys i'm gonna be checking out hopefully you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned brothers later